Hello! Today I thought I was going to try something new. I'm going to try to dye yarns with avocado, which I have never done before. And I thought I would just bring you along with me. I hope you enjoy this little video. So I found the pits from three avocados. You see they're actually frozen. They've been in my freezer for about a year. And I have the skins which are completely frozen together. And apparently I have the pits from four avocados. And I have the skins from two avocados. So I'm going to, these are frozen, but I think that will be okay. So I'm going to bring these down to my basement and we're just going to get started. I put the avocado skins and pits in a pot with about 6 deciliters of water and I'm going to leave it there for simmering for a couple of hours but we'll come back to it in like half an hour and we'll see what it looks like. So it's been simmering for three hours and as you can see just like this. Oh you can't really see it on camera but the water is getting really pink brown brownish pink. So now I'm just going to leave this here for however long it takes and like cool cools down probably until the morning and um, we'll get some yarn in there and see what happens it's the next morning and I'm going to take out oh it's cracked one of the bits two of the bits are cracked they actually just Okay. okay, so you can see there are some small bits in the water. I'm just going to leave them there. This yarn is just for me and also I'm going to clean up the yarn after. So now I'm going to make the yarn ready to dye and then I'll pop in two skins of Superwash Merino and let it simmer for about an hour. I'll probably check in on it after half an hour, but we'll see. The yarns are soaking and the water for dyeing is ready and I'm just going to leave the yarn soaking for however long it takes me to get some breakfast and then we'll come back to actually dyeing the yarn. I'm really excited to see how this color turns out. Uh, I think it will be beautiful. I have seen some avocado dyed yarns online and I think this, I think this will work. Uh, what you should know about dyeing with avocados, if, if you have dyed um, with anything else or you have read about dyeing, you'll probably know that you need a mordant to dye yarn. When I dye with acid dyes, it is citric acid. When you dye with natural dyes, you can use things like alden and... And I don't really know, I don't really do much of natural dyeing. But with the avocado, you don't have to use any mordant, simply because um, the pits of the avocado, um, it has some tannin, which is a more mordant, so the avocado already, or the avocado pits already have the mordant in them. So, after we have made a dye stock, so to say, um, 
we are now just going to pop in the yarn and just leave it there until it has the depth of color that we want and I want to have like a I don't want a pale pink and I'm so excited to see how this turns out because I have this little bit darker dusty pink in my head but yeah we'll just have to see how it goes.